don't mind closer. We talked about cheeseburger juice. And the question that I asked was based upon the understanding that the Kabbalah explains that there are three lines. Yemin, Smoil, the Emsa, right, left, and center. And at the center, this is found all the way back to the Sefi Yitzira. This is not a new concept. That you have a right side and a left side, and then you have the center that balances between the two. You have a right hand, a left hand, and you have the trunk of your body. You've got your right side of your brain, left side of your brain, and the center on top that balances it. So the question is, if cheese or milk is kindness, and meat is gvuris, judgment, severity, what's wrong with bringing them together? You'll have a happy medium of compassion, of rachmanis, of anas. And I explained that when do you have MS, when do you have truth that's a balance between right and left, when you have a healthy right and a healthy left? When the left and the right are confused, then you don't have a healthy balance, you don't have compassion, you have nothing. You have a person who doesn't know what he is. And let me explain that. Intellectually, we are taught that we must be kind. We see someone with a isa orum If you see a naked person, clothe him. You see a hungry person, feed him. That should be your immediate reaction. But then there's another part in the equation. You have to know who you're dealing with. Because sometimes it may be a killer. Sometimes it may be a robber. Sometimes it may be a person who's just a thief. And so you have to learn eventually to discern between peoples. Of course, if a person is dying, you're supposed to feed the person, give the person a drink. But you have to have a certain amount of discernment, and that comes from the Torah. The Torah tells you to be kind, and also, the Torah also tells you to be discerning. That's intellectual. Emotional Emotionally, a person has to have a certain bend. There are people who emotionally are better suited to being kind and compassionate. And then there are people who are emotionally better suited to be organized and limiting and disciplining. Each person has to know where they're at, temper it a little bit. But you have to know who you are. In the realm of ideas, sometimes you go to kindness, and sometimes you go to judgment. The reason why you go to kindness and judgment is a bend in the mind. Some minds are more lenient, other minds are stricter. That's the way they consistently think. And this is the difference between the famous sages, Hillel and Shammai. Hillel was always trying to find a leniency. And Shammai was strict. Not because he wanted leniency, his mind saw the strictures. Not because he wanted to be strict, that was the way his mind was set up. And so in Halacha, or in Torah, there's the bend of the mind to the right, to the kindness, the bend of the mind to the left, toward the judgment and stricture. And then there's a person who is able to create a balance between the two intellectually. That's when you have a healthy kindness and a healthy judgment. What if you have a child who doesn't know how he's supposed to react to people? He's supposed to be afraid of a stranger, or he's supposed to be kind to a stranger? He's supposed to be loving to a friend, or he's supposed to be judging everything that the friend does? When you have such a child, and you have different messages for the child, the child becomes confused. You cannot teach a child lessons that are mixed at the same time. 
there are times that you have to be kind and times that you have to be strict. In general, you have to be kind with others and strict with yourself. A cheeseburger is being kind and strict at the same time, mixing them together at the same time. And it's a jumble of emotions. If you have thoughts that are kind and strict at the same time, you're not sick. You're, you may be confused, but you're sorted out. But if emotionally you have love and judgment at the same time, you're torn emotionally. That's what I meant with the story of the young man who was taught things against the Torah. By day he studied the Torah, by night he studied Bible criticism, and this tore him apart. It caused conflict. Today we have a situation where rabbis are taught by heretics, people who do not believe in God. And they are taught that everything that we have in tradition is a big joke. But there are certain elements of the tradition that must have come from God or godly inspired. What it is that is godly inspired, what isn't, is left up to the rabbi or left up to the ritual committee. So you have a rabbi who from one side wants to connect to God and wants to connect his flock to God. From the other side, the rabbi is told that whatever is in the tradition is all false, or primarily false, or partially false. And which part is false, he really doesn't know. Such a rabbi can only be confused and torn. That's just like the cheeseburger. And the people who follow such a rabbi are also cheeseburger Jews. They don't know what to do. From one side, they want to be Jewish. From the other side, Jewish values are a joke. It's a joke to be for modesty in one's dealings between boys and girls. It's a joke to keep the Shabbos. It's a joke the need to keep kosher. If the rabbi will go to a treif restaurant, what message does that give to the rest of his community? And rabbis, so-called rabbis, have been seen for years in trade restaurants. And the answer is they create an inner conflict between those who are truly sincere and wish to be godly and wish to be Jewish, and they just don't know what it is that God wants from them. Because whatever it says in the books, the rabbi poo So what is it? Paying your taxes on time? Being a good Democrat? Is it supporting the state of Israel? But only when there's a liberal prime minister in place? What is being Jewish to mean to the average person? To a Jew who believes in Sinai, it means 613 commandments. It means that when I get up in the morning, I must say prayers and blessings and thank God for everything I have. It means giving at least a tenth of my earnings to charity. It means that when I see another person and I can help that person, I must do so. It means that in my spare time, I must study Torah. It means that in the schedules that I have, I must make room for you.